this bringing you in, leading you down to this point where, you know, then you see you see the thing unexpected. Mm -hmm. So part of it is really going to the movie to not knowing, like you talked about with this, is to be able to just let the movie mm -hmm. kind of evolve and you be in that moment and see mm -hmm. where it takes you. Well, think about, like, we, we talked about this with the Tarantino <clears throat> film, that think about how he played with form because in um, we knew the character. Uh, we knew... The character he was he was literally he was he he killed them by bashing their head repeatedly up against <laughs> you know and in very, spoiler alert but yeah, yeah you could probably it's not because you know Tarantino <laughs> yeah and so it's you know go, yeah. and but it was it was um, almost slapstick in a way yes. and um, the way it was edited uh, the background music I forget what the music would have been while it was playing but um, but if if instead the form had been different. What if it had been slowed down? You, the camera took you from the perspective of the individual being killed. What if, uh, what if the right. music was sinister? You know, you could see where you could create a space where that experience would be experienced very differently. And so there are all these different things that would that would make a difference for that. Tarantino sort of set that up to be, you know, um, over the top. Um, uh, comedic uh, I think that generates a different space I think though that if if um, like uh, in some ways having someone's stomach collapse grow teeth and bite your hands off is really far more extreme than watching someone's head get split open in a way Okay. And there was nothing <laughs> funny about that. Oh, no, how to make those comparisons? <laughs> they're they're not. Know, but, yeah. So in a way, I mean, I, I think that in some ways that goes back to the uh, the uh, the intent of the director. And, right, right. Uh, I mean, that, that know, is the issue, is it not? That um, once you have this palette that with, with music, sound, actors, scenes, setup, of, and so forth, that you decide as a director, this is what I want the audience to feel, mm -hmm. this is where I want to take the audience, mm -hmm. and I need these types uh, of, uh, of devices to get the audience mm -hmm. there. And that's probably the sign of a good director. I don't know. We, I think it, it, the, you know, that capacity for... Um, for uh, generating a space that the viewer can move into. Uh, it's a little like what we talk about in therapy, the notion of a holding space. Part of those, those very important non-specific factors for some to be effective in, in, in therapy is the capacity to be able to hold. And in some ways, there are lots of like, um, you know, um, there's a, you create a space someone can move into. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And people need, um, and you know, I, I've done a lot of work with trauma, and particularly uh, when I here in a military town where I work with soldiers, and they would need to come in and begin to put into words some of their war trauma, and it literally was like suddenly being in a horror movie. I mean, I remember, and if sure. someone tells me about their, you know, horrible sexual traumas, there is a way in which it can feel. And one has to be both participant and observer, but you have to create a space where this thing, where we can begin to talk about and experience together something very, very difficult. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And and that's, therapy is one way to sort of get at that, mm -hmm. be in a safe space so mm -hmm. that uh, you can work through that trauma with someone you trust and it's going to be okay. So mm -hmm. you do it in that in that particular in the, in the movie theater, um, um, well, I, I would like to take a camera and set it up uh, uh, down the row from you and record your reaction to yeah. this movie, yeah. and then we analyze it just a little bit, and I'd like to... Uh, to know how what's going on, almost like a commentary. We could do the. Mm -hmm. You said the director's cut, and here's the uh, audience commentary. Maybe uh, it'll be a lot this. of me squealing. That'd <laughs> 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 be uh, alone because your wife has left the theater probably <laughs> at that point. Well, that that's uh, that's this has been a lot of fun. I, I really um, it's kind of taken us in a different different direction a little bit uh, to talk about these horror movies. Uh, but uh, wow, there are so many out there. I just continue what you, to come. Maybe up you so. can see this movie, and next time we can talk about it. Yeah, well, I you know I got you to the Tarantino uh, movie, <laughs> maybe so there you we and go. Peggy can see this. Uh, and no, see okay, okay, no, uh, uh, you, you're a bridge too far. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, well, okay, that, well, if you know, maybe if, if you if you can set aside twelve hours of your day to see this. Yeah, this thing is <laughs> longer than the Titanic. You uh, might want to bring so, like an IV because you're going to need to stay hydrated. This thing is, <laughs> you know, it's. 
Bring a backpack full Catheter. Of Here's what you need. Bars. <laughs> yeah, catheter ca- yourself. No, no catheter at the... Uh, no, no, no. That's not where we're going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all right. I'll make that. I'll make that effort, um, and we can we'll, we'll break it down just a little bit more. 